Hello, how are you guys today? It's Megan Graham and I'm here with Yorkie Storytime Live. And where are my Yorkies? Here's Alfie and I'm just going to adjust how the camera is so you guys can see even a little bit better. So we can see Alfie a little bit better. How are you today, Leah? It's so good to see you. And Sinead, you're so sweet. Don't even worry about it. This is such a um, random time. And I just came on in a weird time because I have, or I had two doctor's appointments this week on my days off and they are both really long doctor's appointments. So, um, I just had to break up my day differently and I was trying to figure out how to do a live. So I figured better to come on at a different time, um, than not to come on at all. He's such a good boy. He's the first one to be brushed. Um, so I did bring out, I know I said I was going to bring out some of my grooming stuff today. Um, and basically I was organizing my whole cabinet where I have my grooming things and I keep all of my stuff in a Rubbermaid container. Um, so I've got my mushers for when we go outside. I've got, what else do we have here? Protein detangler by Aspana Silk, which I use sometimes. It just depends on the day. Um, this is a waterless shampoo by Aspana Silk that I use sometimes when I just need to clean up a little something on my dogs, but I don't feel like giving them a whole bath. Um, I have some belly bands for Alfie for when there is any kind of a workman or um, if I feel like there's you know, a chance he might have an accident and I line them with these little maxi pads. And then I've got my rat tail comb, my big comb that has, oopsies, double sides that I use all the time. My mustache comb, which is a lot tighter. And I have my little scissors that slide in super, super easily so I can cut out their bands. And then I don't use this brush too much. It's a pin brush, but I do most of my work through grooming. And I have a little diamond file for filing their nails if ever I need to. But honestly, we walk, <laughs> the cat is in my coffee table. Um, we walk so much that I don't even usually need to um, use anything like a nail clipper because we're always walking on pavement because we live in the city. Um, so we basically don't need to cut their nails. Um, I feel like my screen is not bright today, but I think I have it turned up to the full brightness. Let me just make sure. Yes, there we go. Um, hi, Tony. How are you? Thanks for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Hi, Rocky. It's so nice to see you on here. Thank you for stopping by and also for letting me use that great nickname. Um, I have a little table off to my right today because the other day, the cat ate some of the elastic bands. So he must have, I know that Alfie seemed to be sneaking around as well and the cat got a few and I just didn't want him to get into the bands when they're sitting behind me because as I'm so busy chatting that I don't always realize what they're doing. No, and you cannot get on the glass table. The cat is gonna try to climb onto the table where I have my computer just so, and we're not going to have that obviously. Um, Joby, thank you so much. I'm doing really well. Um, so nothing bad with the doctor's appointments. Just basically, I, um, I don't know if I shared this with you guys before, but my husband and I moved a few months ago and the apartment that we were renting before this had a flood and it developed some mold. So the mold actually made me and the dogs really, really sick. Um, and so this year I haven't been as good about doing all the things I was supposed to, to recover just because it was such a crazy year that I was sort of like in basic survival mode for a while. Um, but I've picked up all the things with my doctor that I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so I'm not, I'm not doing badly. I'm definitely on the road to recovery. Um, but it was just one of those things where I wasn't focusing on my total health. And so this spring, I've just really been working on getting everything back to the way it should be um, and being my healthiest because obviously when I am my healthiest, then the dogs also will have my full energy and my best attitude and things like that. Um, so I'm getting a lot better. So nothing major. And then today I'm just going, um, I set a timer for when I have to leave because today I'm going to drive out to see my dermatologist. So basically I'm just doing all the maintenance stuff. So don't worry about me, but thank you for being concerned. I really appreciate it. 
And I'm going to show you some more of the um, grooming stuff as well, Joby. And I'm also going to make a video because I feel like a video where I really can get in tight with some B-roll and really show you guys the tools. And I swear I'm going to link to them. I think that will be easier. I'm waiting to hear back from the company that makes these combs. They're super, super slow to write. So I wrote them on Facebook because their website doesn't work. Um, but I, I am going to get those. Oh, Tony, that makes me so happy. She says, my Yorkie Rocco and I love watching your videos. So glad we found you. I'm glad that you guys found me too. And I'm really appreciative for everyone's friendliness and support on my channel. Um, if you guys have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and um, go ahead and hit the like button for this video too. Um, it really helps my YouTube, all of those likes and subscribes really make a difference for me as I am working to um, build up my YouTube so that it actually can become my full-time job, which is, um, a, oh, thank you. I see you guys hitting the like button. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I always forget to do it on videos unless people ask me. Um, so I totally appreciate your help on that. Um, Hi, Claudia. It's so nice to see you here. Welcome. It's a beautiful day in Boston today. It's sunshine. And I feel like the sun is starting to look like spring sun, not winter sun, which feels so good. I love it. Um, so let's see. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, don't worry, Leah. I will be back on Sunday. I hope you have a great trumpet lesson. You are amazing. Bye, Leah. Um, Tiffany, I got the little band scissors. So I'll show you guys these again. So, and don't mind me, I'm always like, I feel like my hands are always a little shaky, but these are my band scissors. I got them from a place called Top Line Pet. And um, I think they are, they're the brand, I think you say it, Madden, it's M-A-D-A-N, they're amazing. Um, I have several pairs of them just because I'm sure you guys have seen in my videos, but I'm always misplacing little things. So I do like to have some extras. It's always a good thing. Um, I'm going to turn the sound off on my computer because I think I'm getting some notifications here. There we go. That should stop it. Um, hi, Lisa. It says, with the time difference, I always catch you when you're halfway through. Um, the little comb that I have is also from Top Line Pet. Um, that's where I get most of my things. I'm actually going to try to carry some of them myself as well. Um, I had written the woman to see, I'm, I try to be an affiliate, any website where I send business all the way, just because that helps me to make um, this more of a business instead of just a hobby. Um, haven't heard back from her. Um, if I can get on as an affiliate, then I maybe would not carry the things myself, but um, I'm just sort of seeing what happens, but she does a great job with her website. She's got a super nice selection and it is really, really high quality. Um, Lisa, did you, you couldn't find it on top line pet as well, or were you looking somewhere else to find it? Oh, absolutely, Joby. I will definitely make a video. Um, what I've been trying to do is to do one produced video per week and then to do my do two live streams a week. So I think that is the video that I was thinking I would actually make this week just to really go through all the different things. Um, I feel like I can definitely just quickly hold them up, but then I can go more in depth for what the items are. Um, I just keep it really, really simple, but I use things that work. And, you know, this brush is okay, but I have to say, if you use a comb, I just feel like it works so much better. Sometimes brushes just tend to seem to go over the surface without really getting into the tangles and mats. And um, so sometimes I feel like when I just use a brush, I actually miss the things that I need to, you know, get out of them so that they don't have tangles. They are going to be groomed um, mid-March. And so I'm really making sure that there's not a single tangle um, on their body so that they um, don't have to go through any kind of, you know, painful um, grooming. I mean, the groomer is really gentle, but I think the better shape they're in when they get there, the better for my dogs. And hello, um, I believe it's Elvia. I know I might not be saying your name right, but it's so nice to see you. It says, I just arrived. Sorry, I'm late. Oh my gosh, not at all. You're not late. And I'm always two minutes late. It's the story of my life. So please don't even worry. I'm, I'm here for whenever you guys want to pop in. You don't have to be here at the beginning. I don't care if you ask the same thing someone already asked. 
don't even worry about it. So it says, I'm not sure if you touched on this yet, but I want to ask about taping Yorkie ears. Do you recommend or no? Um, so, you know, I don't know. I've never had to do that. That would be something that I would ask a breeder about. I can definitely ask um, the, the breeder that I got my Yorkies from, but I never did it. And I actually loved how one of Teddy's ears was up and one was down. So I wouldn't have even changed that if I could. It was just like, it, it made him that much cuter and <laughs> more like a real teddy bear. Um, I don't know what my cat is over there playing with, but I think he has something of mine down on the floor. He's been such a troublemaker lately. Um, but I will find out about that. Um, for sure. I'll ask her about taping their ears. Also a good thing to ask your vet about that one. Um, I just don't know. I think the main thing is keeping them groomed because if you let their ears get too heavy when they're little and you don't groom them and keep them clipped, I believe that's when they're more likely to fall over because their ears are just forming and the hair can get too heavy for them. Um, and Tony says, I just started grooming Rocco daily since watching you. He loves it. Need that small comb. Yes, definitely get the small comb. And Honestly, if you're ordering one, I say just get two of everything. It's so nice to have because these combs are so tiny. And I can just tell you, I've gone through quite a few of them over the years. And I don't know where they go. I've had different people that um, work for me. And also, I'm a bit absent-minded. And they're so small. So they do sometimes get lost. I am going to see what trouble the cat is getting into because he did get into a permanent marker this week. Oh, he doesn't seem like he... Oh, I see what you have. Excuse me. Have, can I have that? Can I have that? Uh-huh. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It looks like I just opened up this. I got this new headband in the mail, and apparently I didn't put away this little piece of plastic. So he was playing with it, so I'm glad that I did take that away from him. <laughs> I just heard him with something, and it seemed really suspicious. Um, Yes, but definitely get the comb and definitely just go ahead and get two because they're really inexpensive and you'll just be so glad. Even if you leave one in, you know, like a travel bag, I know we're not really traveling a lot, but I usually just like to have one handy for wherever I go. Um, and also I'm glad that you're grooming your dog daily. I think, you know, everybody asks me on these videos why my dogs are so calm and how I got them to this point. And I think it's just become such a regular thing. Lola still is a little bit sassy when I groom her. He's got a little bit of a knot here, probably from his harness. Lola's still a little bit um, sassy when I'm grooming her, but they're pretty used to it. And they also know that after they get groomed, they're going to go on a walk. So I think that that positive thing of doing something that they enjoy after they get groomed just makes it so they look forward to it. So I'm really glad that you're you know, having that be a thing for you as well. Um, I was not always so, so good about it. And I've just found that it's, it's time where I really get to be with my babies and, you know, relax with them and just it's quality time. And I really enjoy it. And I get to chat with you guys. Um, it's great for me because I can do two things at once. And um, I am a really busy person. So it's always great when I can multitask, if you will. Um, Let's see. Oh my gosh, you just got your Yorkie puppy yesterday. Congratulations. That is so amazing. You must be so excited and also probably a little bit tired. I feel like this is the this is the time where I usually wonder why I got a pet um, because it's a lot, a lot of work at the beginning, but it gets so much better. And if you're tired, just know you'll you'll get more rest later. Um, so Lisa, well, I would think, I think Top Line Pet will ship to you and I think it's really worth it. They, they do not have the exact comb on Amazon. They have some nice combs, but not the same one. Um, it's um, it's M-A-D-A-N Madden brand. So you can also check because I believe they should have that at some places in Europe as well. Um, and it says, Tony, you were using a brush and you started using a comb after watching you. It, it works so much better, doesn't it? I mean, it's funny, but... To me, if you don't comb through, you're just gonna miss tangles. And then one day you'll find them. And it's, I think it's such a nightmare when you have a big tangle to try to get it out. So it's a lot easier to just maintain. He's so, sometimes he's so hard to brush because he just turns his face away from me. But it's, to me, it's a lot easier to actually 
maintain something than to, you know, get a huge knot and have to take care of it later. Um, so I try to just stay on top of it and they look so much better and you know, they feel so much better too. Um, they were, I think I missed a day of grooming, which is really unusual for me, um, sometime this week. And they just, you could tell they didn't feel good. So I, I felt really bad. I wound up doing it at night when I was watching TV, but I usually try to do it a little bit earlier. So I know I said this the other day, but anyone that has any questions or comments, just feel free to join in the conversation. Um, this is a really friendly place. And my feeling is if anybody is not friendly or nice, then they're just not on my YouTube. Um, I guess that's one of the great things of having something be yours. I woke up this morning and somebody had made a comment and they said that, I forget exactly what they said. Um, is this a surprise that I lost my little baby comb again? No, it's not. Simbers. All right. I have a second one, so I will use this. Anyway, so someone had made a comment this morning on my YouTube and they said, it was really kind of a creepy comment, but they said, oh, your voice is so fake and gentle and it must mean that you're a violent person. And I was like, whoa. And you know, it's funny because I always will, I'll kind of like read things like that. And first of all, I sort of feel bad for the person because I think if you get on social media or the internet and you say something mean, obviously you must not be feeling good because I don't think that nice people say, I don't think nice people say mean and hurtful things to other people. That said, um, just getting some elastic bands here. I have my little bag of them. That said, even though I sort of feel bad for people, I also just don't keep them on my channel because I think if they're going to say something like that, to me, I'm just looking for a matching band. If they're going to say something like that to me, then they're probably going to say something like that to one of you as well. So I just didn't keep them on my channel and, you know, and things like that. But I think there's just too many nice people in the world. Um, so I try to keep it a friendly place. That way people will be friendly to you guys too. And I haven't really had much of an issue with it. I feel like everyone has just naturally been friendly, but don't be afraid to make comments because I will make sure that it's a friendly place for you. And um, I'm always happy to answer your questions, just so you know. And Joby says, have you any video ideas coming up? Um, so I, you know, I honestly just, I think of my video ideas as I go. Um, and I only think of one at a time. Um, I think like one video a week is really, really, um, attainable for me because my salon has been so, so busy. And I also have a business where I produce these little black makeup towels and they've been selling super, super well. And then I have an online store. So one video a week and I still feel sane and I can get all my things done. Um, more than that gets to be a bit much, but so what I was thinking of doing for this week was actually to do one on just showing what I use for grooming. I know I've done a grooming video, but I was thinking of actually just doing one where I talk about my different tools and um, you know where I got them and things that I've learned about them. I feel like sometimes things seem really basic to me, but I have to remember that they were not always. And so these little explanations can be really helpful for people. So that's what I was thinking of doing for this week. And then I'm not sure um, what I have in the pipeline, um, that is something that I am going to think about. And I just always kind of brainstorm about ideas right before. I like to not overthink because I feel like when I overthink, I'm less creative. Who is the next dog? He looks he looks pretty good, doesn't he? Are you done? <laughs> He's a good boy. Um, and Rocky, yes, the name of the book that I suggest, it is called... Um, the truth, the truth about pet food. It's really, really good. Um, you just need to make a donation um, to this woman when you get the book. I think it's like ten dollars. It's an amazing ebook, well worth your money. And she talks about all of the different types of pet food that you might want to use. Poppy is going to be next. Lisa says, every evening I go and get my little guy's blanket and his comb, and he follows me to the living room because he knows it's grooming time. 
and she looks forward to it. Sometimes he gets to the couch before me. That is so cute. That's how they are. So Poppy loves to be groomed and she was actually waiting behind me so that I could groom her. Um, oh my gosh, Rocky, that's so funny. I think that's, I think that's super true. Yeah, I just kind of, I, you know, I don't really get into it with anybody if they're being negative. I think someone else commented on, they commented on the video of how I met my husband. And when I met my husband, it was like a dream story for me. Um, one, he loves Yorkshire, Yorkshire Terriers just as much as I do. And two, I met him. So I'm, I'm 44 now. I'll be 45 soon. And when I met my husband, I think I was 38 years old, totally enjoying my life, but I just didn't think I was going to meet my person. And I walked into my husband's ski shop and, you know, I didn't know he was my person right away, but basically we fell in love and I met my husband when I was 38 years old and he is the nicest man I've ever met in my life. Um, and it was just a dream story. And somebody commented and said that they didn't like the story because the man chased the woman or something like that. And it was just sort of like, you can please everyone, especially on the internet. And I didn't know that they called people trolls, but I think it's just like, I try to be really positive in life. And I guess the great thing is having some boundaries where if, you know, I don't know if it was a Disney movie, wasn't it? If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. I think that's kind of true. You can always be nice in how you say things or constructive. Um, and if you really don't like someone's YouTube, then I guess you can say something about it, but I just feel like go to the next YouTube that you like, right? I mean, it seems like it makes sense. <laughs> um, yes, Lisa, you would definitely like the little one. I am pretty sure that she will ship to you, and I I definitely think it would be worth it. Uh, let me know if you have any trouble with her shipping to you, but I really think it would be worth it to have it shipped because these combs are so great. Um, oh my gosh, Doris, you're getting a baby girl the 1st of April. I'm so excited for you. Um, why doesn't, Jasmine's asking, why doesn't Lola have any teeth? We're just about to get a Yorkie and looking for some advice. Honestly, I, so many people have asked me this before. I really don't know. She's a tiny, tiny Yorkie and she's actually the sister of Poppy. And Lola just always had really bad teeth. So I didn't do anything differently for Lola and Poppy, but it was just every time that we went in for Lola's dental, they had to pull so many teeth out of, um, out of her mouth. And so I don't, I don't really know. It may have been that she's so small, um, but she just didn't keep her teeth and she had to have them pulled because they were rotten. And I will say she's never been very good about letting me um, brush her teeth, but she just has like much more sort of breakable and tangly hair than Poppy. And I think her teeth were just not as strong. Um, so I don't know what you guys, if you guys have any experience with Yorkie teeth, but I used to have labs when I was in my twenties, I had um, two Labrador retrievers and they had much stronger teeth than Yorkshire Terriers. So I think it has something to do with their size, um, but I could not tell you. That is a really, really, that's a good question. Rocky, you're so welcome. I love that book and I learned so much about it. I'm super into um, my own health and, you know, doing the right thing with things that I eat and, put into my body. And I think it's really just as important, you know, the things that we expose our pets to can keep them so much healthier. So I try to be really aware of those things. Um, after we had our experience with, um, with the mold in our building, it just made me a lot more aware of just how important um, food is and what you put into your body uh, because it made a big difference for me um, when I was healing. And I've noticed that it makes a big difference for the dogs. So Lola um, developed pancreatitis after being exposed to the mold. And I don't know if it was because of it or if it was just coincidental, but I found that something that really helped keep it under control was just to feed her high quality food that was fresher and better quality. I'm gonna turn my phone sound off, I'm so sorry. Um, because I keep getting a bunch of texts. A lot of a lot of new clients from the hair salon will uh, send me pictures of their hair so I can see 
what I need to do to fix it. And there have been just people coming out of the woodwork to get their hair done because I don't know, I think people are, fe are feeling a bit more um, hopeful and, and like going outside. And I know I've been focusing on getting my health back and going to the gym and also just taking really great care of the babies. So it's, it's kind of like we're blossoming and getting ready for spring. And I think spring is especially significant this year, isn't it? <laughs> So um, Lisa, I also, I did just, I know I just put a link to it on one of my videos. The question is, which one was it? But I did just link to um, the tiny toothbrushes that I use. I get them off of Amazon and they're not a, they're not a finger toothbrush. I feel like even a finger in a Yorkie's mouth seems kind of big. So I get a really, really, really tiny kind. Um, I cannot say that I feel like I've ever been super successful with brushing my dog's teeth. And that could be why um, I have not, why Lola didn't keep her teeth, to be honest. Um, they hate having their teeth brushed. They don't mind being groomed, but they do hate having their teeth brushed. And I think that that has something to do with it. Um, so I think that might be something that I'm going to research so that not only can I do a better job, but I can bring you guys information from a lot of different sources about how to better brush their teeth. Um, I mean, they do use Nyla bones and things like that. I don't like greenies. I feel like those can really break into chunks and I've heard of dogs actually, um, ingesting them and having trouble digesting them. They really need a grooming. Their hair is getting so, so, so super long. And I feel like it's starting to get so much harder to untangle. I know Poppy, we're almost done. Don't worry. Um, so we're definitely due for one. It's, they were really, really busy when I texted to make an appointment. So we're a little bit behind in our grooming schedule. Is it Rochelle? I believe I say it Rochelle, not Raquel. I'm going to say it Rochelle. Um, and just looking up. Oh, Doris, I'm so excited for you. Um, so Rochelle, it says that you're driving home for six hours. Um, so for sure, I would ask the breeder what they suggest because they know exactly, you know, what your puppy has been eating and things like that. Um, but one thing that I would say is just make sure that however you're going to be bringing your dog home, like I personally, I know you guys have probably seen, I've linked to it in my small dog accessories video. I love the sleepy pod for the car. It's super safe. I think it's the only crash tested dog car seat. And I would, I would die if something happened to my baby. So I always keep them really safe in that. Um, but I would, I would keep a dog in the sleepy pod and I would definitely have several clean towels available. And, you know, I would, when you bring your dog in, I would put it in with a clean towel and should your dog get car sick, just have like a trash bag or something that you can throw that towel into and deal with it later. Um, maybe your vet would tell you, but you might want to have a little bit of food just in case your dog doesn't feel well. Um, and if there's some way that you can have somebody go with you, I would definitely, definitely recommend that. It just, it, it might be a lot to manage on your own. Um, if you can't, you can't, I get that. It's a weird time to have somebody with you, but if you can, it would be great. Um, and just try to map out also some safe places where you can stop if you need to, because puppies do need to go to the bathroom a lot. So um, just look ahead to find some safe spots where you can stop and let your puppy go to the bathroom and stretch its legs because, you know, a six hour car ride is going to be a lot for a puppy, but um, I'm sure you can manage it and you'll make it just fine. Um, I just know that like Poppy, who I'm grooming now, tends to get car sick. So for her, I usually have an extra towel in the car just in case she gets sick. Um, I don't think she minds being in the car, but her, her little belly does get sick sometimes. Doris, spring is so beautiful. It's really, really nice in Boston as well. And I'm just, I'm so excited about it. So we bought this condo just, um, 
basically we bought it at the end of this summer, but my husband has been away for a lot of the time and he'll be back in spring and we really get to enjoy it together. And I think the world is just going to be a significantly better place in spring. So I'm also really excited about that. Um, I think people will be outside more. It's going to help with vitamin D and health and all of those great things. So just excited about spring, you know, four times as much as I ever have been before. So Tony is asking, what's the longest I will leave the pups alone? I really don't leave my pups alone for long. Um, I have a gal that works for me at my apartment when I'm working, and they're not usually alone for more than an hour or two. Um, if they had to be, you know, they could be alone for a few more hours, but I just find that they like to have someone with them. And I suppose that um, with all of the shutdowns and things like that, they've also just gotten a lot more used to me being with them. So I just, they don't stay alone for a really long time. I think I would kind of have to work at getting them used to it again because they're just not used to being alone anymore. Um, I mean, I think when the world was more of a regular place, I would say that the longest that they would ever be alone would be four hours. And the reason that they could be alone for that long is that I do use potty pads. So they would always have access to being able to go to the bathroom and um, all of those things. But they really, you are such a good girl. They really like to have somebody with them and keeping them company at all times. So they wouldn't be alone for too, too long. Um, so you have a tiny toothbrush too, Lisa. Yeah, I just don't think that they like it. It's, I mean, maybe some people might have dogs that will let them, you're all done, Poppy. We're going to do a roller now. Some people might have dogs. Come here. Come on. That would let them brush them um, or brush their teeth. But mine have just really, oops, don't, don't slide off, you good girl. Mine have never been um, fond of it. So maybe someday, right? And I guess I'm supposed to brush my cat's teeth too. And I don't know how that will go. Do you, Tony, do you know when you're supposed to return to the office? And um, so your dogs are super, super used to it. Um, do you have someone, sorry that I'm again, always looking for my comb, right? Do you have someone that could stop in maybe halfway through your workday to, um, to visit with them and pay attention to them? I don't know if that's something that's possible, but I definitely think it's a great, um, it's a great investment if you can do that because it's just good to check on them, I think, um, but it is hard to be gone. I know any time that I've gone anywhere at night, I really worry because they are not used to being by themselves anymore. Um, and so it's, I just feel like they're much, much, much more likely to bark and carry on and things like that. Oh, Lola. Lola always gets the most tangly. She just has the most baby fine fur and it is super, super tangly. Let's see if I can get these little guys out. What a good girl. So there have been so many dogs off leash when I'm walking my Yorkies lately. And I was out walking yesterday and somebody's dog ran really fast. It was a big dog and it ran really fast up to the dogs. And you're not allowed to have dogs off leash in the city, but it, people just do it all the time. And they always say, my dog is friendly and my dog is friendly. But um, I'm always really careful because I have heard too many stories of larger dogs that have never attacked a dog attacking a Yorkie. And it really just takes you know, it just takes one bite. So I was really yelling at the dog to get away from them. And the owner said, he's friendly, don't worry. And I just said, you know, but he has to be on a leash. These are, these guys are so little and it's, it's so hard. I don't want to argue with people in the city, but I do wish that they would put their dogs on a leash. Um, maybe Tony, are there any maybe high school kids around or something that would do it? Um, the gal that works for me at my home is actually a college student and she's the daughter of a friend of mine. I do know she's, um, she's graduating 
soon from college, which is so exciting for her, but she's, she's worked for me. She has worked for me for, I think three years now. So, I mean, I, I'm assuming I'm going to need to find someone new because I think she's thinking that she might move to New York city or something. Um, I'm always just really, really, really careful about who comes into my house, but I feel like there's usually somebody out there that's, that's looking for a job. And especially now, I think a lot of people are, so I don't know, that's not sure where to tell you to look for someone, but, um, maybe you could contact your vet's office and ask them if they know of anybody that does something like that. Um, so Rochelle, I honestly have never done the bell training method, but I have heard from some people that they really, really like it. Um, I think you're really smart to not let your Yorkie go outside, even though you, even though you have a dog door, so much can happen. So this, I think it was two weeks ago in Boston, believe it or not, there was a hawk in the, um, in the park. And I think someone left their dog, their little dog off leash and the hawk actually killed a small dog in the park. So, I mean, being when you're far away from your little dog, anything can happen. So I think that's super, super smart. Also, we were talking about it last week, but unfortunately people also sometimes steal. I think we're going to do purple on Lola. Um, so people also sometimes steal smaller dogs. So really good idea not to leave your dog on its own for sure. Um, guys, if you have not already done so, sorry to remind you twice, but I know sometimes I get a completely different crew of people um, towards the end of my video from the beginning. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I love to talk about Yorkies. I also talk about some beauty and wellness things at times. Um, and if you haven't done so, please go ahead and hit the like button. It is so helpful to me in my growing my YouTube. It means a lot. And I appreciate your support with that. I'm just finishing up with Lola. Um, just finishing up with Lola. And then I am going to get ready to drive out to my, uh, oh, you look so pretty. You're a good girl. I'm going to get ready to drive out to my dermatologist appointment. I'm that will be a great appointment that I've been putting off for a little while. Um, and then later on, we're gonna go for a little walk. They really need a bath time. You're welcome, Tony and Jovi. Oh my gosh, it's my pleasure anytime. I am gonna be back on Sunday and sorry that this one was a little bit earlier than I usually do. Um, just all those doctor's appointments I had this week. And I wanted to at least get on and, and say hi to you guys and chat for a few minutes, but the babies look great. I wish I could take them out now because it's 43 degrees outside, which is really fabulous. So um, Tony, this is really funny. I, for my meal prep, I will just say real quick and then I'm gonna run because I'm going to, just get my, my bag packed to go to my doctor. Um, and by bag, I mean purse. But um, so I don't actually meal prep myself. I have a service in Boston and they, um, they make my meals for me. So they bring them in and they're beautiful, beautiful meals. All I have to do is just very quickly put them together when they do come in. Um, but so for instance, the meals that they brought me um, or that they're they're bringing me some special meals because my husband is going to be in town this this week, and so these are my meals for the week: roasted winter vegetable salad with delicata squash, roasted cabbage, red onion, za'atar spiced pita chips, and sumac vinaigrette, and roasted chicken. I just have to throw all that stuff together. Greek turkey burgers with lettuce wrap, beef tzatziki, and lemon roasted asparagus. So good. Southwest steak salad with greens, basil, cauliflower, tomatoes, avocado, red onion, and cilantro lime dressing. And then roasted salmon with cranberry ginger sauce, brown rice, and roasted Brussels sprouts. Um, I, a lot of times, do different pictures and things because people love to see the different food for ideas for healthy eating. So if it's something that you guys are ever interested in, I could always do a live um, on a 
I think I usually get my food deliveries Mondays and some Fridays. Um, and I could do a live where I go through and show you guys my meals and how they're put together if anybody wants some healthy ideas. Um, I finally just had somebody put them together for me because I am really bad about eating when I'm filming my videos and editing and, and running the salon. And so I wasn't eating as well as I needed to. And I finally just decided that it was better to have somebody put them together for me. And they have been the most delicious meals. And there's a ton of great ideas. So um, if you guys are interested, I'll definitely do a live where I actually go through and open up the groceries because they put them. I'll just show you just a really quick, quick picture. Um, and I'm sorry to hold my phone up to the computer screen, but basically this is how they come. So this was my salmon, Brussels sprouts and brown rice. And then all I have to do is cook the salmon with a little um, sea salt and olive oil. And this one was the, um, I think I talked about it, it's roasted chicken. It's got some really nice cheese, salad. So they basically bring me all the parts for my meals and they are, they are beautiful. Um, the other one, this it doesn't look fantastic, but it really is. This is a little turkey burgers and they're seasoned. They brought me the little hamburger buns and a really nice beet, um, beet tzatziki. So, so, so delicious. Um, <laughs> I will definitely, if you guys are interested though. Okay, perfect, Jasmine. I will definitely do that. Um, thank you so much. And that's great. Okay, so I will do that. I would, I would love to do... Um, a food prep and just, I will show you guys when I get my meals. So I'm probably going to, if you're interested in that, I can do that one this coming Monday and go through it because my other passion is, um, is fitness and wellness. And I feel like now is the time for all of us to get into shape and be our best for the nice upcoming month. So thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Um, I am gonna show you this in the video as well, but this is my super, super fun container of different elastics. So I have so many different choices for putting them in. I have super cute little neon is my favorite. So I have neon scrunchies and I have little neon hair bows, which are super, super cute. Scrunchies for after they get out of the bath. I think I'm a little bit of a hoarder with all of my different things. And then of course, neon elastic. So I will show more of this stuff, but thank you so, so much for joining me. It's always so nice to chat with you guys. I will talk to you later. Um, I will probably be doing a live on, so I will decide, but I will be here on Sunday to chat with you guys. And um, we can chat if you want to do one on Monday, we'll do one where I just open up my food and show you guys what's in there. Great to talk to you. Have a beautiful day. And I look forward to seeing all of you guys again soon. Thank you for joining and thank you for your support. Bye guys. Thanks Rocky. Bye.